What's going on today guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's episode of Breakdowns of Brian, we are going to be going over how to change out one of the broken uh, quote unquote Raptor lights. Uh, I've got this one here. Um, it's just a short, probably six or seven inch uh, piece here. I'll put a link in the description on where you can get some of these. Um, the kit that I bought for this one comes with all three of them, the wiring harness and everything. Uh, but I'm just going to replace uh, the bad one for now. If one broke, then I'll have uh, another two that I can replace it with. Uh, so let's get into it. Uh, the first thing you're going to need is a, a little uh, clip puller here. Got a small one and a big one. You can get those off Amazon or uh, Harbor Freight, basically anywhere. Uh, you're going to have a bunch of them. I'm not going to name off all of them, but you're going to have a bunch here. I've already actually taken off this plastic piece here. And there's probably, you're gonna have these here, and you'll probably have about 10 of those. Uh, then here, you're gonna have four of the bigger ones. Let's see if I can find it, here we go, of the fatter ones here. Uh, you're gonna need an eight millimeter, or sorry, a 10 millimeter. Uh, and those are gonna be here. You're gonna have four of those. And then to get the grill to actually move and slide, there's a 15 mil, and here's the nut for it here, and it's just a little clip, and then there's the hole for it. You're gonna need a 15 millimeter with uh, an extension to get down into there, as you can see there. Uh, it's not too bad getting down into there, uh, but then you, you can take another one. There's another 15 mil uh, downhill, or downhill, down here, uh, if you want to take the grill completely off, you can do that. I'm just kind of kind of going to stretch it out a little bit because, like I said, this is the one that's broken. So that's what the one I'm going to be doing. Uh, so now let's get into it. All right, so here's the reverse side. You're also going to need a Phillips head. And they're going to be just two Phillips head screws here. And we'll take those out. They're really short, so you definitely want to be careful when pulling those out, as you can see here. Like I said, you'll wanna give it a little bend, but not too much. As you can see, the plastic piece just, they just snap, so. Uh, the new one, so here's the old one here. I've actually got the new one already plugged in. Uh, Looks pretty similar because uh, the kit, I believe the kit says that it'll fit a Dodge Ram as well. So here's what it should have looked like and here what it turned out to be. Uh, so, like I said, even though they're different, they're just plug and play. So we'll snap it down in there. Uh, we're going to bend it in and then plug it into there. And then you'll take your screws back and mount your screws. It does look like it is directional, so you'll have to find the way that it goes in. And it'll sit in just like that. I'm actually not going to be using the old screws because if I have to take them back out, they're probably not going to last. Uh, so I'll probably just be using some uh, hex bolts. So with that being said, that's how you're going to do that. Uh, if you like the video, hit that like and subscribe. If you have any questions uh, about any of this, um, let me know down below and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. Until next time, guys.